let, 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 let's begin. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Fro Fizzle in the building. And today, I'm going to be talking about the 2007 video game, Def Jam Icon. Ain't nothing to it, but to do it. I have no idea how we go from ultra smooth controls and fight for NY to these over bloated, complicated controls and icon. You have newer selections like TI, Big Boy, The Game, Paul Wall. So there are some cool new selections, but there's way less to pick through than in Fight for NY or even Vendetta. I will admit, I do enjoy how you can scratch and throw the fucking opponent to like the side of the screen and then scratch and then have them bounce off back and injure them through the rhythm of the music. That idea is really cool. I just think the execution was fucking terrible due to the controls. The controls feel heavy and bogged down. Like you're not even able to really seamlessly move like how you were in Fight for NY. I do enjoy how you build up your story mode to go from a regular dude to an icon. I did enjoy that. I did enjoy Anthony Anderson's performance as the bad guy, Troy Dollar. Probably the best performance in the whole game. The maps are cool. I do like the helicopter map. I do like the BET 106 and Park map. The penthouse is a cool level to fight at. So there are certain things I do enjoy about this game. But my disappointment is immeasurable. <laughs> Personally, Fight for NY is my favorite game of all time. So when we were followed with Icon right after, you can imagine how fucking... I'm going to give Def Jam Icon... A 5 out of 10. And it sucks because when this came out, I really wanted to give it a 10 out of 10. I really wanted to love this fucking game. I appreciate y'all. It's been your boy Fro Fizzle. Stay tuned for more. Peace, nigga.